even after three extensions. Prism Enterprises Limited failed to complete Uganda Technical College of Shenyi's construction of a maintenance workshop, a metal fabrication workshop, a manufacturing workshop, and two toilets in the stipulated nine months. The Ministry of Education and Sports, as a result, had to terminate the contract after only 48.6% of the work was completed and a new firm was procured to cover the remaining 51.4% of the project. AGC engineering contractors have been handed over to accomplish the project's works at an outstanding balance of 5.9 billion Uganda shillings. The project coordinator Albertine Regional Sustainable Development Project Component 3 and USDP Agnes Arachi clarifies about termination of Prism Enterprises contract and securing a new farm. We had uh, several supports in terms of extending the contract duration. I think we offered about three extensions to PRISM, but uh, within the three ex uh, extensions, the, co the, con the contractor failed to perform early. Our local contractors are relatively weak. And our main interest as, as a government and also as a pro as project is to also support them. The Deputy Principal Uganda Technical College of Shane Bernard to have lauded efforts to complete the structures at the facility and asked the contractors to consider local communities in job allocation. We have our students who will need industrial training and we hope when we come to you, you will give us some industrial training vacancies. And as you know, we are being surrounded by the community and we hope you will give the community some kind of employment. The RRD Sebo Shanyi Jenny Asima Mohindo and the Deputy Kao Geoffrey Kurunziza Mabanga say the project upon completion will benefit the entire Ankole region and Western Uganda as a whole. You have the skill to produce something, then the better. And then that will help our country to reduce on importing unnecessary things that come into the country. It's all is aimed at skilling and we are very grateful to, for this government so far for the work done in ensuring that Ugandans are skilled. When you look at uh, the, f uh, the facilities which have been here, we are not enough. But we, given these facilities, they will be enough for the students. In those workshops, they will be used as classrooms or lecture theatres for them to be able to have the, the hands-on uh, pra uh, practices that are needed, badly needed, by the way, within, uh, within the industrial sector. Uganda Skills Development Project is funded by the World Bank and was initiated by government through the Ministry of Education and Sports to empower Ugandans with basic knowledge and practical skills. Ivan Juko, UBC News.